Hello everyone. So in today's video, we will be learning about ecotheophate, which is actually an anticholine esterase agent. It is actually kind of irreversible anticholine esterase agent. And how it actually works is that it actually increases the cholinergic effect in the neurons. So it is indirect acting cholinergic agonist. So what is uh, actually normally going on in our body is that if this is the presynaptic neuron and this is the postsynaptic neuron and between them there is a synaptic left. When this neuron release acetylcholine into the synaptic left there is also a presence of choline esterase enzyme which degrade this acetylcholine into acetate and choline and choline is what then again transferred into the presynaptic neuron for the further formation of acetylcholine so this acetylcholine is degraded into these two by the action of an enzyme called as acetylcholine esterase so when there is presence of acetylcholine esterase it is actually decreasing or minimizing the effect of acetylcholine present in the synaptic cleft but when there is presence of anticholine esterase agent what happen that the, uh, the activity of this enzyme is being reduced and when this activity is being reduced what happened there is increase in the concentration of this acetylcholine in the synaptic cleft because now acetylcholine is not being degraded into these two but it is actually present in the synaptic cleft in its original form which is acetylcholine so when there is no uh, or less amount of acetylcholine esterase there will be more of the activity of acetylcholine. There will be more of the cholinergic effect. So how this drug actually inhibit the activity of acetylcholine esterase irreversibly. So as I have told you earlier that this is actually an enzyme. So if we draw the structure of enzyme and drug, if this is the enzyme and it has the active site over here so what happened when this drug comes it actually bind to the active site of acetylcholine esterase enzyme and how it bind is that it bind through covalent bond via its phosphate group on the active side of this enzyme that is acetylcholine esterase enzyme so if i draw the structure of uh, ecotheophate so now there is presence of hydroxyl group on the active side of the enzyme and there is presence of a phosphate group in the drug which actually bind to the hydroxyl group present on the active side of the enzyme so when these two bind together they release a compound and cause the formation of covalent bond between them and release group contain H from hydroxyl group and SR from the drug so now it will be something like this And there will be release of RSH. This and this combined to form this. In this way, there is release of RSH group and there is formation of 
covalent bond between drug and enzyme in this way what happened that this was activated or active enzyme whereas now this enzyme is actually inactive by the formation of covalent bond between these two enzyme is permanently inactivated a restoration of acetylcholine esterase activity required the synthesis of new enzyme molecules which mean that this enzyme will not be now activated in any condition because it is irreversibly binded to the enzyme and it will not let the enzyme do its normal activity uh, but at this stage there can be reactivation of inhibited acetylcholine esterase by the intake of a drug called as paralidoxine so when there is intake of this drug what happen that this inhibited acetylcholine esterase is actually reactivated at this stage in this way there will be separation of these two and there will be again the formation of this drug and this active enzyme but what if this inactivated enzyme proceed to a process called as aging what happen in aging is that there is loss of alkyl group so after the release of this alkyl group the formation of aged enzyme occur now there is release of this alkyl group and when there is release of alkyl group it is called as aging so there is aging of an enzyme and when this aging happen even this paralidoxine cannot affect and cannot reverse this condition so it is impossible for such reactivators to perform their activity and break the bond between drug and enzyme so when this happen there is no solution or no reactivator which can reverse the condition of the enzyme so uh, reactivation is only possible up to this stage but at this stage it is not possible so this is how cotiophate shows its mechanism of action now let's talk about its actions as i have told you earlier that it is actually indirectly increasing the effect of cholinergic agonist because it is not uh actually increasing or it is not actually causing the increased release of acetylcholine it is just causing uh, the inhibition of an enzyme which is degrading acetylcholine so in this way there is increase in the concentration of acetylcholine which ultimately increase the cholinergic effect can cause paralysis of motor function which can include breathing difficulties and convulsions it produce intense kind of meiosis which is decrease in the size of uh, pupil this meiosis is actually therapeutic use of this drug it also has action on intraocular pressure which falls intensely because of the outflow or aqueous humor so therapeutic uses include as i have told you earlier that it is used for decreasing the intraocular pressure so it can be used for open angle glaucoma however it is rarely used due to its side effect profile which include risk of causing cataracts and uh, other cholinergic crises
So this was all about Echo Theophate. If you have any questions related to the topic, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching my videos.